Alright everyone, TJ here with another video. This time, I'm gonna yawn and try to wake up. So, I figured, why not, right? We have the option here to actually lab and test things for ourselves as blind players because the accessibility is really good in MK1. So, I figured I'd walk people through training mode, how it works, so people can lab their conversions, people have can setups, whatever, and find characters and crap they can't deal with. So, for starters, here I have my screen reader set to fast, the fastest it can go, just because I hate waiting, right? Um, so, it options and it pulls up the, the, um, your move list is for your character. Of course, you can check the actual frame data. You can hit square or one if you want to think notation, uh, um, button notation. Um, and you can whatever move, right? So, let's say. Okay, so my my one two or square triangle. Let's see what it says on frame data. Right. Mid. Nine frames. So nine frames to get the second hit out. Zero on block plus nineteen. Hit. So that means this one two that is technically f uh, seven frames on the first hit, nine frames second. Hit. So you know, total it takes nine frames for the for the whole sequence to come out apparently. It's good forward movement too. Um, so that so that's the general idea of how to look at your your numbers and your data. Um, it tells you on block, tells you on hit. So if if I hit them, if I hit them with this one too, they have to hold the forward one. The forward one's a true jail. They can't get out of it unless they, I guess they armor pro on on time. But that's hard, right? Um. Ugh, sorry about um, so move list. So you can do the same thing for your cameos. So your cameos and your special moves. You can look at the the startups and the, the safety, your punishment, punishment. So like, if we see, where is it? So if we look at Rico's armor here, it's probably like negative twenty something. Let's see. It's mid. Nineteen frames short up. Yeah. Okay. It's minus fourteen. I thought it was twenty. That was wrong. But anyway, yeah. So basically, if you're fighting Rick when he does the slide, you're neg he's negative fourteen. So you have like fourteen frames to punish him. So like stand jab, a mid, whatever. Uh, so that, that's generally how you want to look at. Oh my lord. Ugh. Anyway, so you look at the startup, you look at the block recovery, hit, hit the, the advantage on hit, um, so that we can understand what's plus, what's minus, what's worth going for, basically. So for Rico, I know realistically, I don't ever want to throw this out unless it's a hit, right? If it's a hit, then I'll take the damage, right? If it's blocked, then I don't do it. If it's blocked, I just keep my regular strings and pokes. Um, so, so that's your move list option here in training, and then let's go... Opponent type. So, the opponent type. This is where you can really mess with the opponent and or what the AI is going to do. Um, yeah, so you, so you can use this mode to customize the behavior and how they react. So block mode. And it actually tell it actually describes well enough what it's gonna do, right? So your opponent will block all attacks. Left and right button. Auto. After being hit, your opponent will attempt to block subsequent attacks if they have recovery window. Left and right button. Change. Yeah, see, so if you set it to auto, that basically tells you if it's a real combo or not. So auto is probably your best feature. Your opponent will only block attacks in their current stance. You can change the opponent's stance with the movement mode setting. Left and right button. Change. I'll say there you go. You can go. You hit this stance button, and then you go change their stance in the movement option. And then they'll either crouch block or sand block. So that way you can test like what's a low, what's an overhead. So that way you know what you're hitting, what's gonna happen, right? Um stance hold. Your opponent will hold block in their current stance. You can change the opponent's stance with the movement mode setting. Left and right button. Change. Okay. Up and down oh. button. Up block. Your opponent will attempt to block overhead attacks. Left and right button. Change. Your opponent will attempt to Okay. Random attack. Your opponent will randomly block your attacks. 
And this, so this is the big one for me. So auto is the tell if it's a real combo. That's nice. Random block or random tack. Where is he? Maybe it's maybe it's it's random attack or random combo. It's random attack or random combo. One of them. But basically, what you do is you enable that, and it will let you try and work on hit confirming. So let's try random attack. See, that was, I heard the one hit. Okay, one hit. 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 Block. Right? So basically, it just helps you hit confirm so you know I don't overcommit. I don't die for, you know, whatever. Um, now, of course, you don't always want to over, you know, want to always hit confirm. There's, there's situations where you're like, you guys are fishing back and forth in neutral, and let me just go for it because... I need the damage, right? I need, need the damage or make them fear the the, lo the random low coming in. Um, even if I get punished, like, I'll take the fair trade because at that point we're both taking a good chunk, a quarter percent, a quarter life or whatever, so. Let's see. Block type. Select the type of block. Escape. Use this mode. Step. Block mode. Block type. Select the type of block your opponent will perform. Escape. Use this mode to customize your opponent's behavior. So then, escape. Select how your opponent moves. Right, so the escape thing is kind of nice to tell when things can jail or not jail. So, for example, um, you can you can ha you can practice your end here, so you can have them jump forward or just neutral jump or back jump, and you can practice you can hear you can practice listening for them and reacting and and anti airing them, so you can get your full combo, get your full B and Bs. Um, depending on the character, you'll have easier time than that, right? But um, so I use this for. Testing my jailing and testing my anti airs, so we'll just do that, a quick demonstration. Let's do duck. So if I if I do it if I hit them with a down one, stand one. Okay, that didn't work. Down one. I can't get. Does it not work today? Oh wait, let me turn that off. Let me turn the um. Duck. There we go. Let's see. Down one. Stand, okay, down, down one to stand one is another jail. Tell me. That, that has to be a jail. That's bullshit. Stand two. Stand two. Why does stand two work? I'm so confused. Anyway, I, stand one just has terrible range, I guess. But anyway, so the idea for, for, for practicing against ducking is, or one of the opponent ducks, is you test out your jails. Meaning, if you hit them with this move, you are plus enough on this move when it hits. Or blocks, maybe if they're plus enough, to to where they cannot hit you, they cannot or they can't do anything about it, right? So if if someone were to get hit by my down three as Reiko, they gotta hold my stand two. They can't press a button. They gotta hold. Okay, not back two. Down three. Okay, I'm apparently stand one just sucks as a jail. I'm just gonna stop pressing stand one. Stand two. There. Okay, I'm, oh, there we go. Stand two. So down one, stand two. Down three, stand two. Down four, micro dash, stand two. So you could do. Let's see. Okay, that's way too far. Okay, there you go. You could do like micro nation stand three for for Reiko. Down four and stand three is a jail. Um, but that's the that's the point. Is it basically lets you. <sighs> anyway, jailing makes it so if you don't have a great mid. You can use your highs as your mids because they have to hold their, the data. They have to hold it. They can't press it. Press out of it. And the jumps, all your different jumps. So we'll do it quick. <laughs> So there's Rick's answer. You can get more off that, but that's just what I thought of at the moment. That's a clean, like, 24% for anti airs, right? So. Um, that way you can practice on your reaction. So it's like, if I hear them jump, I'm going to do this, and then boom, 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 blow them up, right? 
Uh, Frigo, I really need to work on my ideas, to be honest. Sub jumping. So then now we have throw escape. This is just so that we, if the opponent is going to tech a throw. Um, I never turn this on. I never really test them tech and throws. Like, it's whatever people tech throws or not, right? It's a guessing game. Uh, this can also help you find guaranteed damage, depending on the character, right? So, for Reiko here, if I do, like, one, two, that's a, they, they can break, right? But if I do into command grab, it's real unbreakable damage, because like, the grab, you can't break the grab. Okay, oops. So, you can't break it. So, if I do stand four, because I know stand four is. Oh, look, stand four doesn't, doesn't. What about stand four EX grab? Yeah, so EX, Rico's EX grab is unbreakable, apparently. Like, if he does EX grab, he can't, he can't break. So, yeah, that's real nice, that's nice information to know. Okay, so. So here's the other thing. So we have the get up option. So get up delay or get up mode, which is like your, your opponent options, right? So um, basically what this will let you do is let you test your setups and your OK. So what I mean is this is where a lot of people um, like they kind of mess up their button timings or something. So then they get hit, right? They get hit, they get hit when the opponent's on the floor. So what I mean is if I were to like trip him and then he like starts pressing buttons, like he wakes up with a down one or a, a crouching jab or whatever. Um, it's because I would I would have messed up my my you know my media timing. Like he hit me right um, because I messed up my timing. So what you can do is you can set the opponent to wake up with armor or wake up you know whatever so you can hear the timing better um, or even wake up with the delay. So that means. Can't see. See, so get up delay so that we, so it means instead of like the, the the original timing of them getting up after a certain move, they'll hit the delay so they can just take longer to get up. So it just it's supposed to mess with your timing, right? And then get up mode. Yeah. So let's see. Enhance See, there you go. He did this. He woke up with his armored slide, right? So then let's turn that off and then turn him to. To delay. See now, now he's delaying, so now my forward one wave, so I, I have to delay my button so it actually catch him, right? So just effects with timing. So the main wake ups in this game are wake up, or delay wake up, armored wake up, block on wake up, and technically speaking, you can use a can. Did some cameos have invincibility on wake up? And it's not great. And depending on the situation or circumstance, you may you may have to find other options or different scenarios. Like for me, for Rico, if the opponent's uh, knockdown gets me far away, I'm most likely going to wake up ES and EX Ninja Stars. Because I may as well try and take a bit of chip out of them. One and two. Um, they're far enough away, they're not going to be able to stop me, right? Uh, if it's like a really close Oki, I'm like, ah, oh, I'm just going to hold block. Nope, I'm just going to hold it. Either block or armor. Um... What's next? We have reversal. So reversal. So this is a very crucial one because reversal is what it does. Is it basically it um, if the opponent the opponent has an armor move, everyone does in this game. So you set reversal so you can tell when there's a gap in your offense. So let's say um, let's just turn it on real quick. I'll show you. Turn reversal on. And put on the yes, slide. Enhance I slide. All right. So for Reiko here, if I do two one four, totally safe on block, right? Not like there's no gaps or nothing. You can't do shit. But if I do one two four, wait, sorry, one two three, there's a gap, right? He can he can armor out. If I do four four three four, boom, there's a gap. 
Stand 3-4, cap. Back 3-4, cap. Right? So my airtight offense is really just 2-1-4. 2-1-4, 2-1-4, 2-1-4. Because he can't do anything about it, right? 2-1-4. Um, or like something like this, right? Where, let's say, like down 4 and ninja stars. There's a gap there, but the ninja stars deal with it. Down 3, ninja stars deal with it. Down 1, ninja stars deal with it. 1-2, ninja stars deal with it. So basically, the, the idea now is I'm going to switch some stuff around so I can actually, you know, break your armor in case you try to armor out of my gap. But if you block me doing trying to do that mind game, then I'm dead probably, right? Because Ninja Stars are, I think, like, negative 13 or something, negative 14. So they're punishable. It might be a bit of a tricky punish because I know the Ninja Stars have pushback, especially EX Ninja Stars, they have pushback. So um, a little bit tricky, but that's the general idea of reversals and get-ups, right? So I'm hope hopefully this helps you guys because I, 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 you know, there's, there's a lot of blind people who are recently picking up the game or, or maybe trying to play it a bit more seriously who are trying to understand it. It's like th this is this is what you got to do. You got to learn and lab and, you know, it, it, it's patience and, tra and actually training and stuff. But it takes time to get good at fighting games. Right. So when a bl when you have full access to a to a accessible training mode, it's going to take time. But you got to learn this stuff if you want to be good. Right. Um, so let's see what's after a ski. Okay. So that's everything that uh, we can set the AI. We can set the AI to wake up, to mess with uh, gaps in my offense, so I know when there's a gap or no gap, um, to do movement, to practice anti airs, to practice all these things, right? So that's, that's the AI. So the next thing is practice options, which is practice settings. So this is stuff. This is stuff like you can control the second the second character. Uh, you can change your cameo. You can change your position so you can test mid screen combos or corner combos. Uh, uh, your your bars so like your your special meter bar, your cameo gauge, your life so you can test your fatal blow combos as well. Yeah, so you gauge. HUD. That's sighted stuff. Oh, you can see the frame data. So, yeah, you can, you can like, if, if you have enough vision, you can read the frame data, you can see the damage, you can see all these different things, right? The, um, so the practice stuff is really for, you can test your, your meter, you can test your whatever, right? Um, the next section, if we go to opponent type, we click our one for you guys, I think, our one, because my, my controls are flipped. Anyway, so I think we'll cover the next section in the next video because this video is going on kind of long. So just you guys in one sec.